How's everyone doing tonight? Great. Awesome. Thank you guys all for coming out. This is, as you guys can see, we're having our program in a different setting tonight. And the reason for that is because we're going to have like, it's going to be social. I want you guys to socialize and to enjoy each other's company and to enjoy our sense of community and just a sense of fellowship. You know, the reason for this is because the holidays typically, you know, we get into the zeitgeist of, you know, getting the holiday spirit. Huh? Big word there. I love that word. That's great. <laughs> I know that word. <laughs> I failed history for that word, so you know, gotta learn it. <laughs> um, we get into the zeitgeist of kind of, you know, being swept up into the holidays, and by the time we're done getting into the holiday spirit, our spirit is so drained, and it just loses all of its meaning. So I figured we can have our program in the most relaxed, calm way possible, and we can just relax and hear some music in between and just kind of chat with each other, get to hang out, and just have some fun and socialize. So there's some food. I want everyone to just get some food, sit, talk, eat. People will be getting up and they'll be singing. You can listen. And you know what? Just everyone enjoy yourselves, OK? So I appreciate you guys all coming out. Um, before we get our program started, I do just want to start off with a couple of thanks, um, very special thanks to the Cape Verdean um, church that gets down here. Right now, they're not they're not here because they are at the shelter, but they did take their time to donate their resources and their space, and Veronica came, and she helped set up this beautiful space, as well as Jerry and the girls back there, so thank you to my god girls for hanging out and taking care of all of that last night and still showing up here and looking beautiful today, ready to perform. Um, I also want to thank um, some of our friends from the Taunton Cape Verdean Church. Hi, <laughs> nice to see you guys. Um, and everyone who's coming out here to perform tonight, they have taken their time and they've dedicated their time despite my last minute request. So thank you guys very much. And um, thank you for our elders for also always just being ready to kind of roll with the punches as they come. And yeah, I'd like to thank everyone else who came out. So thank you guys for bringing things. Thank you guys for bringing yourselves. And I will be giving, you know, more chat in a little bit, but start off with enjoying yourself. Everyone can grab a plate if you'd like. We are going to start off with a prayer. And Pastor, if you wouldn't mind just doing the honors on that. All right, everyone. We are going to uh, take a moment and give thanks to the reason for the season. So let's bow our heads together. I'm sorry, we have an unhappy customer in the back. <laughs> All right, let's bow our heads together. Father in heaven, we thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Christmas story, which is really the Bible story. It is salvation in a nutshell that you would come, humble yourself, and serve us the way you did till the very end. So we want to celebrate that deeply, Lord, in our hearts, not just in a seasonal way. And we also want to embrace the community that we belong to because of you. Lord, you said you would build your church, and we're here 2,000 years later, still going. And so we just praise you and rejoice over that, and thank you for the fellowship tonight. Thank you for Tashai and her tenacity to get this happening, and for all that chipped in. Bless the hands that prepared the food, and bless us and our families as we spend this time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Enjoy. While you guys are eating, I want to get everybody into, um, I want to, you guys to kind of hear a couple of things that are going on in our church. Um, so we have a lot going on with the youth, and I just, I figured while we're all here, we should kind of get an idea of what's been going on with our church and kind of where we're projected to be in the next year while we were, what we're kind of working on. So one of the things that we are really working on is a lot with our youth programs. We're working a lot lately with functioning on our youth and kind of really working on their spiritual development and their spiritual investment. We have our our Sabbath school that goes on every single week, but in the coming year we want to have more programs where the youth can get involved and they can get acquainted with each other and also they want to step into ministry um, so we're going to be having a lot of community outreach with our youth. Um, we also have our Bible studies that we do every Tuesday night. Um, lately we've been studying Proverbs and, and Wisdom and so that's been really great and if anyone has been looking for a Bible study I hope that you guys will you know come and sit in and join us one day. 
Um, we have our first step in where we go every third Saturday of the month and we visit the local shelter and we feed them and we you know we have some community with them and it's really been helping us to kind of get acquainted with the fall river community um other things that we do that aren't associated with the church but definitely we are associated with in you know acquaintance with mary lou goes to a mobile loaves um mobile ministry food service and you can talk to her about that as well and with that being said um we are going to have our first song from cherokee and julia Thank you, Tashai. getting up there and for performing <laughs> you know what you did it for Jesus and you know what Jesus made you a singer tonight so I love that for you thank you guys very much <laughs> and next what we're going to have is a special song from Landon our youngest singer in this church and it's going to be amazing so everyone put your hands together for Landon can we guys can, can we give him some encouragement guys
<laughs> Amen to that. That is that was so awesome. Landon, thank you so much. You know Landon volunteered, like like not a lot of kids volunteer to do anything in the church, and Landon volunteered to sing a song today. So thank you so much for that. Next we're gonna hear from Tyrene and Tyrene. They're going to sing. So they figured out a song together. <laughs> Which is good, thank you. <laughs> you got it, no, you got it. <laughs> and volunteer their time and their energy. I'm telling you, like, no matter what I ask, they are there, okay? This program is happening tonight because they decided to volunteer. I was like, I'm not sure if I have the energy to do it. And they were like, we'll 
do it for you. So you guys, thank you guys for having this program. Thank Jairini and Tyrini for the fact that you guys are here. But these girls are literally absolutely amazing. They wake up every morning at 5 a.m. to drive to school, to get to school in Boston, and they come home and they do all their homework and they don't get home until late. And then there are some days when they still want to come here and they still get here to help me out. They still come to church every Saturday morning and they're here, they're on time, and they're happy about it. So thank you guys for being a good example. We have a lot of teenagers in this church that are good examples. Edwin and Eldrick as well. I'm gonna call you guys. <laughs> he just looked at me, he was like, don't say my name. <laughs> like, they're, our teenagers are such great examples and they're inspiring to us in this church. You know, these two just got baptized a few weeks ago. A couple of our teenagers in this church are baptized and they're always, you know, they're they're not like normal teenagers. The, church, the teenagers that we have in this church, they are not like normal teenagers. And so not only should we thank them, but we should encourage them to continue to be the inspiration to us that they are. Let's let's give it up for Carlos. Yes, huh? oh, yes. Okay, see, so we have someone from downstairs forward, but thank you for showing up. Vanya's from our time church, though. But thank you so much for showing up. And Carlos is going to sing for us, so listen to him. He has an amazing voice. If I was a dude, I would totally want his voice. So. <laughs>
you know, this like officially means that you have to like start singing at our church. So like, do we'll see you upstairs. Not. Do not what? <laughs> do not what? <laughs> okay, so we get to hear from, you know, my sissy. She's gonna sing a song for us. My sister's nervous, y'all. So like, can you guys give her some encouragement to come up here, please? I'll be here in a second. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I love how she doesn't shout to the rooftops like that for me. You know, like, we're not gonna we're not gonna get into my issues right now. It's okay. I've got a baby. Um, <laughs> that being said, you know, my mom is so energetic, right? Um, so my mom's gonna sing for us in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved that you gave to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All oh, that I am and never hope to be, I hold on to be.
So thank you so much for that, you guys. And I hope you guys will sing more for us. You gonna do that again for us another time? I think so. <laughs> Nelly, 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 Nelly. End of our program. We're not we're not done yet. Don't worry. But we still got some time. But as we come close to the end of our program, we have my friend Vanya who's going to sing, and Carlos is gonna sing with her. So if you guys would join me here, <laughs> guys, give it up for Vanya. She's from the Taunton and Kate Birdie and Church. Shout out to my Taunton family. Shout out to my Kate Birdie and family. I feel ethnic. I feel mixed. <laughs> it's great.
Tyrini and Tyrini said to tell you guys that they agree that Cape Verdeans do it best. And you know, I have to say, I have to say, you guys are, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. So our pastor is not only talented at uplifting our spirits and at giving us some spiritual food and bread, but he's also going to play guitar for us tonight. So can we give it up for Pastor Kabliska? Or Pastor Dave? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
song together as a, as a congregation, and I used to love hearing this song when we were younger, because like, it just sounds really good when everybody played it. I don't know, there's somebody in this church though that cannot stand this song, and I cannot remember who it is. But I don't think they're here tonight, so it's okay, it's all right. But I love this, is it Mary Lou? It is Mary Lou, Mary Lou left. <laughs> um, but if, here's the thing, if you guys, know this song, everyone knows this song, you know? But if you guys know how this song used to sound when I was like five, you know what it used to sound like as a congregation, and I just, I need some nostalgia, and I think everyone can appreciate it. So tonight we're gonna sing We Three Kings together, because it's such a fun song. However, like, for Three Kings, I need three people to help me lead this song, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? I'm gonna pick. Matt, you wanna come help us? Can you help us? <laughs> sing this song? Who wants to help us lead this song? Who sings? Come on, Matt. Mm -hmm. Colleen. Jirini Tyrini. They're looking at each other. We're not going to start a sibling rival. You know, we're just going to sing together as a church and we're going to, and we're just going to keep the microphones out of it. <laughs> together. Thank you, Roberta. Nadine's going to sing us a song. <laughs> Give it up for Nadine, y'all. before I sit back down. And she will sit back down. Don't test her. <laughs> so, a few disclaimers. A few disclaimers and a few requests. Tyrini, please put that phone down. That's number one. <laughs> number two, I am not a singer. And the number three, this is my first time singing with this soundtrack, so I have no idea what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> Hallelujah, sometimes God loves a drunkard's cry, a soldier's plea, not a letting die. 
song. Thank you guys. <laughs> so the song I'm gonna sing, um, like, I wasn't planning on singing tonight, so like, don't hate on me if I mess up. Um, <laughs> but the song I'm gonna sing, um, God put on my heart and kind of just showed this song to me because it just kind of speaks a lot to the power that is in the name of Jesus that we don't think about, but that the world really needs right now and that we all need in our lives. So whenever you're going through anything, it just reminds me just to kind of call on Jesus and he's there for you and he'll comfort you and you just ask him to be the Lord of your life in every single instance and he'll be there for you.
together just to thank God for everything he's done for us for the next for the past year and to thank him for everything he's gonna do for us for the next year it's called goodness of God I think we all know this song so do we all know the song yes. we know this song okay Julia you want to help me yes you shout it so loud in the kitchen now you have to The lyrics will be on the screen for you guys, so try to follow along, okay? Amen. 